I call Kevin Haig. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. It was indeed uh, good to hear the Minister Pesita Sam Lotuinga in his uh, contribution in the committee stage indicate that the government was committed to passing the plain packaging uh, legislation in, this, in uh, the second half of this year. Uh, that will be very welcome. And it's because, Mr Speaker, uh, while tax increases um, on tobacco products are the most effective measure of uh, reducing death and illness from the most preventable cause um, of death and illness, uh, they, they are not enough alone. They need to be part of a comprehensive suite of measures. One of those is plain packaging, and I certainly wish, the Green Party certainly wishes, that the government was also open to, uh, to the smoking in cars issue, open to uh, uh, smoking in parks, open to the kind of restrictions on, on retail supply, such as a register of retailers, as has been recommended. Um, and look forward to further discussions with the government on that. I note, Mr Speaker, that the government intends to be reviewing its progress against the smoke-free Aotearoa goal uh, in 2018. At that point, it may well be that New Zealand continues to not be on track for achieving the smoke-free Aotearoa by 2025, as we are now. We are not currently on track. We are for middle-class Pākehā New Zealanders, but not for Māori, not for Pacifica, not for low-income Pākehā people. If in 2018 we continue to not be on track, then I call on the government to indicate that it is open to reviewing these taxation measures, because at that point we will have demonstrated that they are inadequate. Uh, with that, Mr Speaker, I close this contribution and indicate that the Green Party will continue to support this measure. Well